Do you want cool effects for your text that showcases multiple skills, services, and more like this? This is called the typing text effect. It keeps your hero section clean while creatively highlighting your message. And you know what the best part is? I can apply it to any heading and even use it on multiple headings on the same page. To do this, I'm using the free version of Elementor and a free plugin to help us add the typing effect on the heading. Oh, by the way, if you happen to have Elementor Pro, you'll be able to add a lot more, like apply a bunch of different styles and animation options to choose from to add to your text without even installing the plugin for a typing effect. But before we move forward, you need to use this animated headline widget to add the typing effect to your website. The bad news is that it isn't actually available in the free version of Elementor. So we need to install a free plugin to access a similar widget for free. I'll be using the Essential Add-ons plugin for it, and you can get it for your site by going to the WordPress plugins library and installing the plugin. Now that the plugin is installed and activated on your site, we can add the typing text effect. To do that, let's go to Pages and click on Edit with Elementor here. So I'll search for the fancy text widget and drag it to my page. As you can see, the text already has its placeholder with the typing effect text. So let's customize it for a site. Okay, we've got a bunch of different options here that we can change. This prefix text is the section of the heading that isn't going to be animated. Basically, it will remain the same no matter what animation you're using. So I'll change it to this. Now, this first string, second string, and third string are the heading part that actually changes according to the animation. Finally, this is the suffix text that we can add that comes after the animated part of the heading. I don't want to keep anything here, so I'll completely remove it. All right, now let's do the animation and placement settings. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. All right, now let's do the animation and placement settings. You can change the style, animation, alignment, and more right from here. So let's make a few changes quickly. I'll keep the style as style one, but if you have a pro version, then you can also use the style two option. I'll also align our text to the left and click on the animation type. You've got a bunch of options to choose from. The fade animation looks like this and the typing animation looks like this. You can choose anything else if you want. I'll keep it to the typing and go back to changing the three strings. Now, I'll replace the placeholder text with my customized message to personalize my design. After updating the text, I'll go over to the style tab just to adjust the styling option. You can change the color, typography, size, typing cursor color, and spacing. I'll just make a few basic changes and this is what the heading looks like. Okay, let's go back to the layout tab and click on fancy text setting here. You can set the animation to loop or add the cursor effect. Change the animation speed and even set the delay between the animations. I'll just leave it to this and preview the page. It's working perfectly. And we have the typing text animation here with the different strings we set earlier. All right, now let's see how you can add this same animation using just Elementor Pro. So I've got the pages ready here and I'll search for the animated headline widget. I'll add it here. And as you can see, this is the placeholder that you can start with. I'll add the same heading that we used earlier and change the highlighted text to this. Here, I can add different animations like double underline, flip, swirl, and so many more. But I don't want to use these animations and add the typing effect. So I'll click here and choose the rotating style. Now, you also have a bunch of different options for the animation here, but I'll just set it back to typing. Now let's add my choices of rotating words. In this case, the words are adventures, experiences, and journeys. I'll just align the text to the left and set the HTML tag to H2. Again, you can customize the colors, typography, and more from the style settings. I'll just make a few changes, and this is what the heading looks like. Now let's publish it and check how it looks. So as you can see, my typing test effect is working well and has given my website just what it's missing. That's not all. You can change the animation from the settings I've shown before and add effects like this right on your page. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.